Don't you just love when Konami adds new rules to the game to make it even more complicated? Ha <laughs> ha! I know I do. It makes me hard. Not really. It actually makes me very soft and even smaller. But, you know, we got to get the job done somehow. Let's dive on into this. Ha <laughs> ha! New rules, shall we? We got we to gotta bust out the Ultra Ball for this one. We're going to be extra squishy today. Try to relax your anus. You better not judge me for that intro. I've been drinking some champagne today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here. And destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that ruling subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1300 ladder. Hope you all having a fantastic day. So this ruling got brought to my attention by, of course, our homie Valley D, a.k.a. Big Bruce 94, a.k.a. Misfit 904, a.k.a. whatever your name is now, Derek. Quit changing your YouTube name every five minutes and then claiming you got locked out of the account. You probably got banned from the account. Stop, stop trolling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But this new ruling got brought to my attention by our homie Valley D, and I wanted to talk about it because it actually kind of has some implications for the possible future. And I saw some people talking about it on Twitter um, not really on Reddit, but I think it's going to get there eventually, especially after we make this video, that as a whole, I feel like that this could be interpreted as a new rule. And it makes me really worried for future card design, especially whenever like new archetypes come out and stuff. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to take a look at this rule and you're going to see it on your screen and then we will discuss. So let's just dive on into it here. This is covering the issue of both Fire King Garunix, or not issue, I guess, ruling, but both Fire King Garunix and Dark Hole Dragon are in my graveyard. A fire attribute monster in my monster zone is destroyed. So keep in mind, it's a fire monster. So that's going to trigger both Sacred Fire King Garunix and Dark Hole Dragon because Dark Hole Dragon, the monster, was destroyed. As a result, both Fire King Garunix, special summon this card from Hand or Grave, effect, and Dark Hole Dragon's special summon this card from Hand or Grave, effect, meet their activation condition. Can both of these effects be activated and form a chain? Keep in mind, these are both trigger effects. I want to repeat that. These are both trigger effects. At no point in the game's history could you not activate multiple trigger effects in the same chain in the TCG. I don't know how it is in the OCG, but in the TCG, as far as my knowledge knows, I've been playing this game for now 16 years competitively, as of this December, you can chain multiple trigger effects. This is from Konami. You can only activate one of these effects. They cannot be activated in the same chain. Only one trigger effect that special summons the activating monster itself and that can be activated in the hand can be activated in any given chain. A trigger effect that special summons the monster itself and can be activated in the hand also includes effects that can be activated in either the hand or the grave, such as the effects of Garunix and Dark Hole Dragon, which your question mentions. Regardless of whether the effect is actually being activated in the hand or grave, only one of this kind of trigger effect can be activated on any given chain. Similarly, this also applies to the following monsters trigger effects that special summon themselves and can be activated from the hand. Only one of these monsters can activate its relevant effect in any given chain. They list a bunch of monsters. The only notable ones I really want to mention here is that they mention Aigido and Kelbeck. I never knew that you couldn't activate both in the same chain, but okay. The other ones that are also important to note is the C card, Sneaky, Contact, Confronting, Flying, Darkest Diablos. But then they also mention, if you look at the screen here, you can pause, take a look at it if you want. Battle Fader gores and tragodia now why is this such a big issue well like i said i've been playing the game competitively for 16 years we've seen a lot of formats i can tell you right now and my homie valley d and i were both going back and forth on this uh because my homie his real name's derek uh derek was like the first ever friend i made playing Yu Gi Oh competitively we've played a lot of formats together i can promise you when we played gores and tragodia back in the day you could train you know, train you could chain gores and tragodia's trigger effects in the same chain. So like if you got attacked with say, I don't know, a, a Beast King Barbaros for an example back in the day and you had Gores and Drag, you could activate both. That was one of the big reasons, at least as my knowledge, as my memory serves, if it's right, that's why Gores went to one so quick when it came into the TCG. Because if you had multiple Gores, you could activate multiple Gores in your hand and have a bunch of monsters on the field. It was insanity. And now Konami's coming out with this ruling saying, no, you can only activate one of this kind of trigger effect. And it makes me worried for future card design if we get Terminal World here in the TCG. We already know pretty much everything that's in Phantom Nightmare. I don't think it'll affect that. Legacy of Destruction, maybe people find a broken Light Sworn combo, but then because of this trigger effect ruling, whatever, that's no longer the case. That ruling can no longer be applied. And it seems to be more of a case of 
quote unquote, because Konami said so type of ruling than anything else. Because in no part of the game's rules does it say you can only apply one type of trigger effect in a chain. That doesn't make any freaking sense. And so it makes you wonder, like, why are they ruling it this way when it hasn't been ruled that way before? And again, back to like Aigido and Kelbeck, I never even knew that was the case with Aigido and Kelbeck. I mean, even when they were three, like, that that's news to me. I didn't know that that was the case. And I'm, I thought people were chaining Aigido and Kelbeck back when they were at three, like all the time. Regardless, um, it makes me concerned about future card design. Now, the thing is, is Dark Hole Dragon going to come up with Sake of Fire King Grimms? Like, was this going to be a thing that we were going to see a lot? No. Dark Hole Dragon is a dark dragon type. However, it is level eight. Sacred Fire King Grunix is also level eight. The Garunix Exceed was a rank eight. So really, I feel like this hits more like rank eight Axis than anything else, even though that deck is just hot garbage, unless you're my dad who plays it with Skill Dream, but he played Mystic Mind for four years, so he's a scrub now. <laughs> and he only plays like Master Duel, aka Master Shits. Um, I feel like it hurts that deck more than anything, because like you could splash in like Fire King Grunix or Dark Hole Dragon, maybe somehow get a fire in there, and then it dies. You could summon out both and make a rank eight Exceed, whatever. Or like in Fire Kings, if you wanted to tech in Dark Hole Dragon, then, like, if you pop, like, say, your Ponix, then you could get out Dark Hole and Fire King Grunix, and now Konami's saying, no, you can't do that. Sugar Boo Bear, like, go touch grass. And so, I don't really feel like that was going to come up a whole lot, but it's still something that you should be aware of and note, because it is concerning for future card design, because now you have to keep in mind, oh, wait, I have these multiple types of trigger effects that activate the same way, and I can only use one because Konami says so. For those of you who don't know what by what I mean by because Konami said so. Sometimes rulings come out in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! in its history of 25 years now that literally the ruling is just because Konami said so. It makes no sense in the game, makes no sense in the rules. Nothing in the rules dictates that you can or cannot do it. Konami just puts out the ruling because they said so. If you want to know what a ruling looks like that is literally just because Konami said so, go look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia or Yu-Gi-Pedia and go look up Mystical fucking Ref Panel and go look at all of the rulings on Mystical Ref Panel. They are literally just because Konami said so. Konami had to put out a list of cards from Mystical Ref Panel that was like, you can use these cards with Mystical Ref Panel. And those were the cards that you could use it on. And it's literally just because Kami said so. Some are on there that you think you could use, while others are not, are on there that you think you couldn't use. You know, it's why they had to make Mr. Red Pale, I don't know. But that fun fact, that card was actually in a Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel back in 2004. So it was Magical Stone Excavation, but they called it Mining for Magical Stones, like Merrick did in the anime. Anyway, a little side rant, fun fact, if you, ever, if you never knew that. Um, does this impact the game in a big way? I think for future card design, it potentially can. Now, could Konami have gotten this wrong? There's that 1% chance that, yeah, they could have. You know, think back to Alubar, the Jester of Despia, when we were first getting that card, right? I think the card was first worded on the database that you could only add, like, a Despia spell or trap, and then they reworded it when the card actually got released to be, like, a branded spell or trap or a branded card, whatever it is that Alubar says now. It used to say, like, Despia spell or trap, and everybody thought, okay, Brandon's going to be garbage now. Then we got Alubar in the way that it's supposed to be. Everybody loves them, right? So there is a chance that they could reverse what there's what they said in this ruling. You know, it's it's just really hard to say at this point. And when it comes to trigger effects, I'm pretty sure Primera is not a trigger effect, but coming from your boy, the Centurion King himself, you know what I'm saying? You activate Primera and Trudea, you summon out both, you make Trudea become a level eight, you have stand up and primera. You can declare what effects you're going to use. You can say, hey, I'm going to do Primera, Chenic 1. Stand Up Centurion is a trigger effect because it says when a monster or if a monster is special summoned, you can use the effect of Synchro Summon. You could do Primera, Chenic 1, Stand Up Chenic 2. If you don't want that example, let's do a more recent example or I guess a better example. Uh, tier Elements, the Fusers, Hafenis, Merlin, and Shayrin. Those are trigger effects. So we all know for a fact that you can trigger like a Hafenis and Shayrin or a Merlin and a Shayrin. You can trigger multiple of the Fusers. So by this ruling's example, are you saying I can only trigger one at a time? Are you saying I can only use Merle if I mill Shayrin and Merle? Like, that doesn't make any sense, unless I'm just totally wrong on that point of trigger effects. But regardless, I know for a fact that those are trigger effects. So, like... Why is it that we can do that, but then we can't do this? This is what I mean, like, the ruling is just because Konami said so. And they're just saying you can only use one because we're Konami and eat our ass proper. So, I don't know. Uh, there's, again, there's a 
good possibility that maybe Konami reverses this ruling and they say, hey, like we're changing it. We misunderstood the question. Like, like there, there's, there's a possibility to that, right? Or this just goes down as, hey, we know what you're trying to do with Darkhold Dragon and Garunic Sugar Boo Bear. We're not going to allow it. Like you got to do something else with your life that, you know, they just don't let you play Darkhold Dragon with the Grunics. I don't know. But this is something that can potentially have implications moving forward because there might be an archetype that comes out where you have these multiple trigger effects that are all the same thing, but you can't activate them because of this ruling. You can only activate one per chain of this type to summon from the hand. You know, instead of getting two free bodies like, you know, the Garunix and the Darkhold Dragon, you only get one free body. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what comes of this. And I think it's something that's worth keeping an eye on, especially, like I said, if you go back and pause the video and you look at all the cards that are affected, I mean, there's a whole list of them, whether it's King Leonidas, Darkest Diablo, Stardust Trail, Doppel Warrior, Illusionary Snatcher, uh, you know, like I said, all the sea monsters, Infernity Archfiend, Lily Bell. Uh, it's, you know, there, there's so many here. I could go on forever and ever. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. This might be a nothing burger. This might be like the Cash Tira thing when we were first getting that stuff out of Photon Hypernova and they ruled that you had to have different banished piles for which card banished what. So like you had a separate banished pile for uh, Diabolsis and then one separate pile for Unicorn, one separate pile for Fenrir. And that never took off here in the TCG. No one ever enforced that. So maybe this will be the same thing. I don't know, but I at least want to put it out there for the community to listen to so that bigger names out there like Capital GM, Co40, Yaxine, whatever, can talk about this as well. And of course, you know, thank you, boy, for talking about this first. So anyway, <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Am I just totally off my horse on this? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.